Up next, a lot of Millennium Falcon PE from Green Strawberry. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin and welcome to a Sprue Hub unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at PE from Green Strawberry for the 172nd scale Millennium Falcon from Bandai. So this is what we got in over here. We got the fruit pack in that comes with three separate bundles of PE plus the one extra set of PE. That's a lot to do in one video, so we're not going to do it all today in this one. We're going to do four separate videos today. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday also will get those up for you so you can check out all the different PE sets. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here forever. As usual, I'd like to thank Lucas and Green Strawberry for sending over the products. This way we can check them out and you can check them out too. If you haven't been to Green Strawberry yet, go to greenstrawberry.cz and see what they got over there that you want for your kits. You can definitely get these over there too. And as usual, what we'll be doing now is there's going to be a written review. You can find direct links to all these products there, plus extra pictures that I take of all the PE sets. This way you get Lucas's pictures plus my pictures from the desk. So enough rambling out of me. Let's get over to the bench and check out one of these kits. So the first kit we're going to start off with was the first one listed on the fruit pack and it's kit number 06318-172 for the YT1300 Millennium Falcon exterior detail set for the 172nd scale Bandai Perfect Grade. So as usual, you're going to have the cellophane wrapping and the hard cardboard backing and we're going to open this guy up and see what we got inside. As usual, we'll start off with the instruction sheet. It's a one page fold out. It shows you at top what comes in the kit and it's one fret of PE. Then it goes through the key so you know what each call out is. And it goes right into the vents for the back of the ship. And there's numerous parts for that. And then when you flip on through, you have more doodads like it looks like the escape hatch, more ventilation over here, a couple more rings that would be put on. I don't know the exact positions. Some kind of little hump. I never noticed that before for the side of the ship. More the band for around the cockpit. A couple little rings for the front of the ship. And then uh, another set of extra detail like little clamps for the outer ring where the, uh, the ramp is. I'm pretty sure that's the side there. And then a couple more little rings for the front of the ship again, except down in where the cargo holds would go that we've seen in the newer ship. So let's take a look at the PE. Okay, so this is the PE sheet. There's not too many small pieces on this one, just the little round circles here that we saw on the very front of the ship and then down the channel where the cargo would go in there. There's another small one there. These are the underneath of the vents. The vents have three or four pieces in total. So you got these here that would go underneath. Then you have the next ring and the ring over that. So it's highly detailed compared to the what's, what's already on the ship. And I think the Bandai PE may only have the grating here. Green Strawberry went into extra detail for the grating around the ship right there. Here are those little latches that we saw on the side of the cockpit. The band that goes around the cockpit over here. Here's the little hump. I'm not quite sure what that is for. I don't remember seeing that on the ship, but I'm sure it is because Lucas and the team always go looking for all the details so they can add it. And then the escape pod right there. It's got the little lines in it so that would open up. It doesn't actually open up, but it makes it look like that could open up. So you got a lot more detail that you can add to the ship, the outside of the ship with just this piece alone. So take, make sure you come over to Sci-Fi Annecy. We'll post a link to the article so you can see more pictures of this. Well, thanks everybody for stopping by and checking out this PE set from Green Strawberry for the outer detail on the Millennium Falcon. We have three more sets coming up. So check those out coming up during the week. And then I have a couple more sets, one for the USS Franklin and a canopy that we're going to go over. So don't forget to come over to sci-fiantasy.com 
go into the reviews and you'll see this guy actually like i said i'll put a link in the description below and don't forget to come over to the new site sprewhub.com register and start posting your videos over there the only thing i'm going to be putting up on youtube now is probably the green strawberry reviews this way lucas could put them on his site and it's a lot easier for him because i don't think he can use my links on his site so we'll see how that goes but again thanks to lucas and green strawberry for sending it over go check them out greenstrawberry.cz which is right over here and if you got any questions or comments throw them in the comment section below not the description that's my part the comment section below and i will get back to you as quick as i can take care everybody bye bye